Hello, what's up, guys? Welcome to season one, episode three. Today's episode is called "It Started with a Vision." Now, I'm writing an autobiography, and this autobiography, I am putting in stories of my life. So as I go, I'm reminded pretty much every day of something that happened to me in the past, and I talk about it. And one of my chapters is called "It Started with a Vision." It's going to be chapter 28, I believe. Now,、uh, there's so many things I could say about this, but in that chapter, I talk about how basically there was this one day when I felt I was really, really poor. I didn't have the money.、Uh, I was going between jobs. I was being a waiter at the time. I was traveling between cities, between Binghamton, New York, and New York City, being a waiter at each city, and just trying to get myself down to New York City, pretty much. And、uh, I was, I was broke. I just failed out of medical school at that time. It was about Beginning of 2009, and I really had nothing. I mean, you know, I look around, and、uh, my cousin here. Let me show you this. My cousin, her son has this piggy bank right here. <laughs> this guy has more change in his piggy bank than I had this one day. I'm gonna tell you about. So I was driving down to、uh, the city, and I was probably like a good 30 miles away, and、uh, my car was running out of gas. And I saw a gas station. I pulled up. I just barely made it into it. And I look in my wallet, and I have no money.、Uh, my cards are not working. Nothing. And I'm thinking, you know, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna make it? What's gonna happen? So I start digging under my floor mat and looking for change. And you know, I found a couple coins and all that. Like, I mean, this. I mean, there's way more change in here than I had. I wish I had that much change. This guy's lucky. But、uh, yeah, so I, I dug up the change. I made it. I got down to the city. I. You know, got my job down there. I started doing well, and things picked up. Became a professor and whatnot. And I mean, so many stories, but can't tell them all now. But you know, I'm here. I am two years away from having my MD. You know, money's good. I just、uh, signed a contract to put apps.、Uh, sorry, put advertisements on my apps. Things like that. So I mean, again, I'm trying to use myself as an example to you guys. That's why I'm saying this, but. I don't know where you are right now while you're watching this video. I know I'm going to talk to you about my clinical years through medicine. That's part of it. Part of it is also motivation. But this purpose of this small story is just to tell you guys, you know, keep keep that vision. That's really what's important. You need to have that vision of where you are and where you are going. Because if you can't see where you are going, I'm not telling you you have to know every single step. But what you want to be, you want to be a nurse, you want to be a doctor, you want to be. Sorry, it's really hard for me to think of anything healthcare because that's been my life right now. You want to be a teacher, whatever it is you want to be, some business, accounting, anything, whatever you want to be there, just focus on it, envision it, see it. A sports athlete, something. Really, because nobody else has to see your vision. As long as you see your own vision, that's all that mattered. So that day, you know, I'm looking there. I'm all embarrassed. You know, I got the coins in my hand. I'm gonna go hand them over to the cashier. I'm like so embarrassed, but in my mind, I knew that one day, you know, I'm gonna be sitting back, you know, shirt, tie, all that, white coat, and I'm gonna be going into the hospital, which、uh, I'm kind of late for right now. But just have that vision, guys. That's it. All right. So take care. Never give up, never. Hala.